And turning to dead markets now, Japanese government bonds are higher in early trade as Tokyo stocks take a hit this morning. U.S. Treasuries are just a touch firmer. Investors are looking ahead to U.S. employment data due out tomorrow. Looking at the latest yields now. Hong's red chips and eight shares are making a comeback. They took a dive late last year, but lately both red chips, that's Hong Kong companies with strong ties to China, as well as eight shares, which are state-run China firms listed in Hong Kong, have outperformed the Hang Seng Index. But will they stay in favor? CNBC Asia's Phyllis Fang has more. Red chips and eight shares are seeing record gains helped by easing interbank rates and improving investor sentiment. And according to analysts, it's no surprise the China-related sector is making a comeback. Those markets have been actually uh, quite depressed anyway, uh, along, along with Hong Kong, but more so because um, the red chips, uh, for instance, have come down in some cases by you know, si uh, 50 to 60 to 70 percent right from their highs that we saw in August last year. Analysts say the latest buying is being boosted by China funds, snapping up shares and pumping liquidity into the market. And because red chips and eight shares were so oversold, now looks like a good time to pick up some bargains. Given that, uh, also, um, you know, going forward, the, the profits are, are still um, driving along quite well uh, for most of them. Most of them saw the bottom um, of their operational performances last year, um, and if not, going into 97, right? Um, so that 98 is actually going to be a reasonably sort of good year for um, some of them. Uh, for some of the companies. Chan's top three picks for red chips are food companies Guangnan Holdings and Nfeng Hong and China Telecom. And among the eight shares he likes Zhenghai Refining, power company Beijing Datong and Guangdong Kelong, a light manufacturer. But investors must still take into account looming concerns over a slowdown in China's economic growth and worries about a possible renminbi devaluation. But some analysts argue that China has plenty of options to keep the economy humming along. For example, they can uh, increase the public spending uh, in infrastructure uh, that will help uh, pop a uh, their GDP growth. So we have every reason to be reasonably positive or optimistic about the Chinese economy. In a sense, uh, this year and the next year, Chinese real GDP can uh, maintain a reasonable, reasonable, reasonable uh, growth rate, let's say 8.5%. But market watchers say gains in these sectors will come over a longer period compared with the red-hot rallies of the past. But overall, I'm still optimistic. In a sense, we're going to still see there is upside for red chips and it shares in a 12 and 18 months time period. Because they're traded in Hong Kong, red chips and eight shares are strongly influenced by factors in the territory. So as long as interest rates here continue to come down or at least remain steady, gains in the China sector are likely to hold. Phyllis Fang, CNBC, Asia Business News, Hong Kong. And up next on Trading Day, news from Australia. When we return, stay with us here on CNBC Asia Business News.